All right, welcome back. We're going to have a really quick episode here of how to cut the emblem or cut an existing emblem that you see on your clarinet, barrel, upper, lower joint, or bell a little bit deeper before you put the emblem gilding cream or crayon in it. I have another episode about regilding or recoloring the emblem. You can see that at the end of this episode. But we're going to look today at some of the tools you can use to recut the emblem. Now keep in mind, this can get very difficult. Uh, the wood is soft usually. And when you use your clarinet a lot, you can actually wear down the emblem, wear down the depth of it by wearing down the depth of the wood. And the other problem you have is some emblems are harder to recut than other ones. LeBlanc emblems are usually the simplest ones to recut. Whereas Buffet and especially Selm or Paris, the wreath emblem, is really difficult if it's really worn down. There are other tools I use that I put on a little drill, like for the Selm or wreath one, that requires a lot of intricate minor details to work on. But simple LeBlanc emblems are the easiest usually. This we have a Normandy 4 barrel. We're going to be taking a quick look at and cutting this a little bit deeper. Everything you can see as is, but we're going to show you how to cut it a little bit deeper in the tools used. The tools are very simple, simple hand cut tools just from thick needles, we'll see them in just a minute, to uh, little miniature scrapers. So we'll get right to it. So what we have right here is these are some inexpensive miniature scrapers. You can get them made out of soft steel or even harder steel um, and you can keep them sharp, as sharp as you want. See what the tips are right here. This one's a really thin scraper, but wide. This one's really wide, not really used for much. I use this mostly for getting rid of um, glue off of the cork tenons. This one's useful. And so is this one, a little thinner one. Now, in addition to these scrapers, I use needles. These are some big, heavy, larger needles that I can hold with my finger without a problem. You can use sewing needles too. And you can get these in a sewing section at some store. What we have here is a Normandy 4 barrel. We can see the emblem clearly here. We're just going to cut a little bit deeper or at least parts of it. And of course, there's multiple ways. When you first get a barrel, one of the first things you want to do is you basically scrape out real briefly. Th this one, I bent the tip of it so I can use it on the side. But we're just going to use a regular one. I forgot about that one. But when we first look at this, you want to actually get out the dirt from the emblem. So you first want to scrape The emblem, as you can see, I'm getting gunk out of it. It's from normal usage. In addition to gunk, I'm also getting a little bit of wood out of it. Now, the more vertical you make the needle, the more you'll get in the emblem. So the more vertical we make the needle, the more we get in the emblem and the pointier the tip, the more we can cut into the emblem. Of course, you got to go back and forth to the side by side of the cut in this case. We get deeper and deeper. So that's just with a needle. So that works well with the needle there. Some emblems, I'll use one of these scrapers. Kind of hard at the camera in front of me. You have to really make sure that you don't scrape the other parts of the wood. You want to make small movements. Try to make them parallel with the cuts. 
can see we can cut any deeper now. Now on names and such, I usually go to a needle. And just work those a little bit at a time. And the smaller movements you make, the better it is. Now when I first was doing this, sometimes you just scrape across, but I'll show you if I get this little part here, you slowly work yourself into it. And you slowly cut more and more into the wood. It's really quite simple on some emblems. On buffet emblems, like this one here, it really takes a longer time because what you have to do is you gotta cut into these little dashes or dots for depending upon which arrow you have. A little bit at a time, cut a little bit more at a time. In this screen you can see the emblem is basically worn out in the middle. And that takes a lot to slowly cut out, recut out the names. And you have to really know what the emblem looks like by having other barrels to cut it out slowly but surely to recut everything. I don't have an example with me right now where I recut one. But this actually takes a long time, the emblems. Recutting an emblem like this buffet one would probably take several hours over several days really a little bit at a time taking a break getting back to it later on is not a simple thing whereas leblanc type and noble and normandy emblem especially the newer ones are usually fairly easy to cut out and like i said once you cut them out uh, this one i did on the lower part of the emblem the y and this part here it's now a little bit deeper you can actually see it's a little bit more wider too uh, you can then put gild, gilding cream or crayons in it, whichever one you prefer, and put color back into the emblem. Anyways, I hope that helps people out there that may have had questions about how to recut the emblems from how to regild them. Uh, if there's any other questions, leave any questions or comments down below. But once again, it can be as simple as just using simple needles to get it going and small pieces small errors at a time don't try to do long curves and such like that remember you're working on a cylinder so you're working on a curved surface so you want to make sure you're actually not going straight just a little bit at a time is the best anyways thank you for listening today any questions or other comments please post them down below don't forget to give it a thumbs up like share and subscribe you gotta love the knowledge you gotta love life you gotta love clarinets and gotta love recutting emblems right we'll see you next time Thank mm -hmm. you.